Now get request as as a learn how we can deal with REST API using Python programming language. Now whenever we are dealing with REST API, there are couple of things which we need to remember. One thing is that whenever you are dealing with REST API, you are going to use a program to make a request to REST API. So in this case, we are going to use Python program to make a request to REST API. Now whenever we are making a request, there can be different type of request you perform such as get request or post request or delete request. There are many other requests as well, but here for the sake of simplicity, we are just considering these requests. Now get request as, as the name says, it is mostly like just going and fetching some data or getting some data. Post request is something like when you call a REST API and you post some of the data and delete as the name suggests, it is used to delete certain data from the by using the REST API. Now whenever you perform a request using uh, Python, you need to have a mechanism which is or, or a REST API which is going to reply you with a response. So that is actually going to be taken care by REST API. Okay, so REST API is going to respond you back with certain response codes and also going to give you the data. Now response code can vary. We have different response codes such as 200 which is a uh, response code OK, 300 which stands for found, 400 which stands for bad request and there are so many uh, response codes which exist in a response of the REST API. Now you can google what are the different response available but most frequently used are either 200 which is response OK or 400 which is bad request and certain others. But again for the sake of simplicity for now we all we need to know is that we are going to receive a response code 200 which is going to let us know that everything is okay from REST API side and it has done the processing and it has responded uh, back with certain data and certain response code. Okay, so hopefully everything was very clear. So all is going to happen is uh, from here we are going to make a request and then we are going to get a response back uh, from here and along with the response we are also get, going to get some data now why we get the data is that uh, here rest api is going to do all the heavy processing so for example whatever code which has been written in uh, rest api that actually takes care of some of the processing as well and then it re returns us the processed data okay now that data which uh, we get from rest api can be in one of the available formats such as JSON, XML or text. Now most frequently which I have seen is JSON or XML and uh, other data types are very less frequent. So what we need to know is that we know how to deal with JSON or XML in Python. Now since we have already learned how we can deal with list or dictionary so it's going to be very easier for us to deal with JSON. So now I'm here on Jupyter Notebook and we are going to discuss about how we can perform different operations using Python program. And we are going to develop a small program which is going to be kind of uh, doing small talks with a user. So we are going to ask user what is uh, their name and we are also going to ask what is the country they belong to. And then we are going to, uh, then we are going to reply with uh, something like nice to meet you, I really love your country and I know that your neighbors are blah 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 and the population of your country is whatever the population of those country is. Okay, so we are going to develop uh, this program. Now again, uh, we need one uh, REST API which is going to give us information about all the countries, their, uh, all the countries border, we are going to get information about all the country currency and things like that. Then only we'll be able to pull those information and going to respond the user back. So for that I have already found one REST API which is called uh, the URL for that REST API is restcountries.eu slash rest slash v2 slash all. So once you hit that URL and press enter this is the response you get. So you get list of all the countries with lots of other information such as top level domain name, you get the calling codes of the countries, you get the capital name of all the countries and you get the region information of the countries, you get the population and so many other things. Okay, so basically uh, what we needed, we already have got in the form of a REST API. 
So now we are going to use this REST API using Python. So first thing is we need to import a module which is called requests. So what this module is going to do is this is going to make sure that there are methods or functions or things available which we are going to make use of in order to interact with REST API. Now after that we are going to create a variable which is going to be called base URL and there I'm going to give the name of this endpoint. Okay, so let's create a variable base URL and this is the URL which we had hit here and this is the response we have received. So when I'm going to hit this URL using uh, Python, I'm expecting the same results. So now we are going to actually make a request. Okay, as you know that uh, whenever we are dealing with REST API, we are going to use two things. One is request and other is response. So now is the time to make a request and receive the response. So let's create a variable which is called RESP, short form of response. This is a variable which we are going to keep our response in. And then we need to use requests.get. And here you need to specify base URL. Now remember rather than using base URL, you can directly use this complete URL. Again, depending on uh, whatever way you prefer. Okay, this is second approach, but I will really recommend you that you keep base URL in a separate variable and use that variable. Using this way, code is very clearer and people understand what you are trying to do here. So now here what is happening is we are making a request to this REST API and whatever the response is, we are storing in this variable. So, so far, whatever we have learned, hopefully it is clear. If you have any question, please write in uh, Q&A or comments and then I'll be happy to answer you. Okay, now uh, as we can see that whatever data which we are receiving, it is in kind of JSON format. So what we need to do is, uh, we need to load the data in JSON format, okay? But before we do that, let's do a print statement and say resp.json. Okay, so this response.json, what it is going to do is, it's going to load all the data, all this JSON data in the, in the variable or probably if you just want to print it on the screen, you can do it as well. Okay, so uh, let's do this way. We are going to say response.json and here we are going to print data okay so whatever this data is now going to be going inside this data variable and then we are going to use this now let's do control enter and see how it runs okay so this is the output which we have received this is pretty much exactly the same which we could see here on this browser now you see we have received so much data information about almost all the countries and there are so many information. Now uh, let's uh, start writing the small talk program which we want to write. So I'm going to ask user what is your name and then I'm going to ask which country do you stay in. Okay. And for that uh, it's very simple we are going to use Two variables one is called username other one is called user country and we are receiving this information from user okay that's why I have used input function and now uh, let's start developing our code and before we do that let's try to first read this information so you understand what we are trying to do and how we can handle this so what I will do is, uh, let me comment this temporarily or let me take it out. We are going to put it again and let's do one thing. Uh, we don't want to print the data. This time let's try to understand what is the format in which we have received this data. And as you know, if you want to see what is the data type of the data which you have received, you can always use type function. So here I'm going to use type function and I'm going to say data okay now hit control enter 
and now you can see the data which you have received is in list format okay so now we need to remember how we deal with list so if you have not seen uh, the session about how you can deal with python list then go there and learn about that and then it's going to be very easy for you to understand this okay now if you remember to navigate through all the data of or within a list all you need to do is uh, you can just use a for loop okay something like so what I can say is for country in data print country so what it will do is it will print information about all the country which are available in this list now let's run this and see what is the output which we get okay so now here you see output is pretty similar the only thing is that now for each country you receive the data and then you get so here you receive the data about one country and then you get information about next country in next line okay the reason for that is because now actually you are navigating through this list and you are doing a print statement for each element of the list now let's say you don't really you are not interested in all the information all you want is you want to pull the name of all the countries okay now to get the information about all the countries we also need to understand what is the uh, data structure of uh, this okay so what is the data structure of each country so we know the data structure or data type of this data which we have received is list now we need to understand what is the data type of each of the element which is there inside the list so for that we will do type again and let's do country type country so we are going to receive what is the data type of all of these things so let's do control enter and let's say I don't really want to print country name so I'm going to remove that and do control enter again and now you can see that this is the list data type which is for uh, this print method okay so first thing is that all the data which we have in data is of list type and then all the data which we have in country is of dict type so again if you have not seen a session about dict type so go ahead and see that first and then you are going to understand this also but if you just want to continue on this session first you can do that and then you can uh, watch those uh, sessions later so now we know that uh, we have data which is in dict format and the name of the variable is country so now all we want is we want to pr uh, print list of all the country names so for that if you remember or if you can just you can go here and you can see that all the dict are stored with key value pair so we are going to have a key and then we are going to have a value associated with that so here key is name and the value is name of different countries so now here if along with country I specify the key name which is going to be name and then do control enter and then you can see we have received list of all the countries okay so for now I know it is very simple and let's say rather than name of the country you also or let's say along with name of the country you also want to print name of the capital so you can do that as well so for that you can write after the print statement you can write country and here you can write capital and then let's do control enter and now you can see that you have list of country name and then we you have list of uh, capitals okay so for each country you can see their capital so for now again I think uh, things were very easy and simple and now you have understand how we can pull different type of information so let's say if I want to grab information about population of the country in that case you can see the key name here is population and then we get the value of population so here I'm going to say population and do control enter and we can see that we have received country name country capital and population 
So now we know how to grab all different type of information. So now I'm going to uh, make things a bit quick and going to write remaining program. So we don't need this for now. We can just remove everything. And here we are going to ask user what is their name and what is the country they stay in. Then we are going to uh, get that country information from this data. Okay, and then we are going to print name of their country and we are going to tell uh, about name of the capital and we are going to talk about the country's population and we are going to tell that your neighbors are and then we are going to show them the list of countries which are their neighbors okay so let's begin so for until now if i do control enter and if i run this program so i have an option of receiving a name so i'm going to enter my name and then let's say I give the country name where I stay in so it's India and then once I do enter uh, nothing happens because we are not really doing anything okay other than just taking the username and taking user country and making a request and getting response back and storing that in a variable now uh, let's start developing our program So first thing is we want to go through all the country names and we want to do a comparison that which country user stays in. So first thing is uh, we should be able to find information about this country India. So we have list of all the countries right and we need to uh, find out information about India. So first thing is I, I need to do a loop statement which can loop through list of all the available countries. So let's do for country in data because data is the one which is holding all the data. And then we are going to do if statement. So we are going to say if country and we want to find out the name. Okay, so if country name is equal to name which user has provided. Okay, so user has provided the name which we have stored in user underscore country variable so here is the variable name so we are going to say uh, if the country name from this list is equal to the country name which user has provided in that case only execute the code which are written below now one thing which can go wrong here is that this user may not provide the information always in the same case and as you know uh, python is case sensitive so let's say if user is providing information in uppercase or in lowercase in that case we are going to uh, get the error okay or basically there is not going to be a match which we want to avoid but anyways for now i'm just going to show you how this is going to work and uh, let's see how I mean let's see what is the progress which we have made until now so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to write another piece of code which is going to say nice to meet you and I'm going to just paste it here because I have already I already have this code written so here what we are doing is we are writing a print statement which is saying nice to meet you and then we are using username for this And then we are going to print another piece of statements which are related to uh, which are related to country and capital so you already know how you can pull country and capital so here we are just giving that information so uh, let's do control enter and run this program so here's asking for name I'm gonna give my name and then it's asking for country I'm going to give country name and for now if you see that uh, this is the output which I receive so I receive nice to meet you Vikas and I receive I really like your country India especially your country's capital New Delhi okay so uh, whatever statement you want to print you can again in this small talk you can change this or you can probably have list of certain uh, small talks and you can loop through those small talks randomly now here one thing is that uh, after the user receives 
all the input we want to give some space so here you can see everything is just looking to uh, everything is looking to be printing together we don't want that so I'm just going to print new line and to print new line all you have to do is write a print statement with slash n and if I run this program now so you can see we have one uh, we have some space okay so that's basically a new line so that looks fine for now and now we can go ahead and start developing other program so now uh, yeah before we do that let's do control enter again and this time let's enter the name and let's enter country information in all capitals and let's hit enter now this time you saw that when I wrote country name in capitals in that case we didn't get any information the reason is that as you can see here in the data let me search for India and okay so basically you can see that India is written with only here you can see the name India is written with I is in capital and remaining is in small letters so that's why it didn't match and this piece of code did not execute okay so we want to avoid this so the best way to avoid this is you can convert everything in either in lowercase or in uppercase so I'm going to convert everything in uppercase so for that we are going to use upper method and here also I'm going to use upper method so now let's run this program again and see if this works as expected okay so this time it works as expected and regardless of whether the user provides information in uppercase or lowercase we are going to get the same result now I'm going to uh, start writing some more information about their country so now here I'm going to print another statement which is saying your country is pretty huge with more than uh, number of population people staying in the country so here I'm going to print the number of uh, population or the country's population now again uh, we don't really need to write the same statement for all the country types because for some of the country population is going to be really low so in that case you should be able to write uh, some different statement based on the population of the country so I leave it up to you you can uh, write some if statement in the country population and then uh, you can execute two different type of statements for a country which is having let's say less than 100,000 population or, uh, or country which is having more than 100,000 population or things like that so I leave it up to you and let's do control enter and see how it works so here I'm going to write my name and country name and now you see what I receive is that greetings and then I receive information about my country along with the country country's capital and we also receive information about population of the country now let's say along with this I also want to display name of all the all of my country's neighbor so in that case there is another rest URL which is available and the rest URL is this and here along with this URL I need to provide the short code of country for example if I do IND which is short code of India in that case I'm going to receive this information okay so now here if you go to uh, borders where is borders okay so here you see we have a key name which is called borders which gives us information about all the country names so it's not the country name it is the short code and so yeah basically we are just going to hit all of these short codes and then we are going to grab the name from those short codes okay so let me write those statements and that's going to be simple and going to be exactly the same so I'm not going to explain this in detail so now here you can see what we are doing is uh, here we write a print statement that your neighbors are and then we loop through all of the then we are loop, looping through all of the borders okay so here if you okay so let me make it simple for you so here let's do print statement and let's do country 
borders okay so you will know what we are trying to do here and let's do control enter and see how this program is working so it, I'm gonna hit my name and country name and now you can see that this is saying uh, whatever some greetings and things like that and then it's saying your neighbors are and then it is giving me a list with all the country's neighbor okay with with the short codes now we don't want short codes we want the actual name so what we need to do is we need to hit this rest endpoint with providing short codes okay so for example for Afghanistan I need to say AFG and hit enter and now you can see that this is the information which we receive so from here I'm going to grab this name and going to print it so this is going, going to give me full name or complete name okay so that's why we have written this piece of code so now we can see that we have uh, multiple countries as the neighbor there is no single country so that's why we need to write another loop statement so that's why you see for statement coming here so what this for statement is uh, doing is this is going to loop through all of these short codes and then it is going to hit this uh, endpoint and going to pass these short codes okay and then it's going to grab this complete information and from this information we are going to use only this country name and which is written here you can see that here we are receiving all the response in code and from this code variable we are using code name which is name of the country so this is what we are gonna get so now let's run this and see how it works so here I'm going to give uh, my name country I belong to and now here you can see we have started getting information about all the country names now I don't want to have this short code so I'm just going to remove this print statement and let's run this again now you can see that we are receiving information about all the neighbor countries now if you want to print uh, other things such as country currency and so many other things you can do that as well but hopefully you have understood what we are what we need to do or how we handle uh, rest apis and how we deal with or loop through all the items which are available in those rest api if you have any query please feel free to write me i'll be more than happy to answer